Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Nexus. It's a software we use for collecting data, processing data, exporting data. It's pretty easy to use. Um, hopefully, by the end of the video, if not through practice, you'll have a good understanding of how to use it. So I'm going to open it up. Um, so usually you'll get this pop up of uh, asking you to um, update the uh, software, they usually come out with uh, some additional, just some additional fixes, bug fixes, um, but I've already opened it, so I minimized it, closed it, told it not to show it to me again. Um, you don't have to update it every time there's a new release, um, especially if you don't have admin privileges on your computer. Uh, if you don't have admin privileges, you'll need the tech person to allow you to update the um, software, so um, that can become complicated because sometimes they're really busy. So, um, if it's working, then you shouldn't have an issue. Uh, but if not, then um, you you will definitely need to update. So, this is what Vicon looks like. Um, some of the options I won't be able to show you because I'm on the computer in the office, or the computer I use in the office. And so um, I can't collect any data on this computer. I can only process data and export data. So um, I'll just go over some basics. I'll try to keep the video short that way. Um, if you need to find something later on after you watched it, um, you can do that. And it doesn't make the videos extremely large in size to um, be able to view. So uh, the research over here, it shows you system and subject system. And it'll show you all of the uh, devices that you use to collect data. Um, subjects is the subject um, information that you have. And I'll go over that more in a little bit if done in another video. Um, so here you see is there's no trial selected. So right now there's no data. There's not even a trial selected. Over here are your tools. Um, this is where you can add information um, to your subject. Uh, if you were collecting data, but here we're not going to be able to do so. Um, can't capture any data because, again, not on the computer to do so, um, and can't look at the cameras or anything like that because, again, we're not on the computer. Um, here is the labeling. Um, so uh, this is where you would attach markers to uh, the reconstructed uh, markers that you um, have for your trial. Um, here, this pipeline or the settings looking icon is where um, you can run different pipelines, um, so um, reconstructing the data, processing some of the data with different techniques, and then exporting the data as well. So I'm going to go to my dissertation data because it's a little bit uh, – you'll see this a lot. Um, don't worry about it. That's not a huge problem. Um, it's just because I don't have files like it. And, in Monkey. Um, so this right here is where you manage the data. It's just kind of like any other folder in um, the computer. Um, this blue link right here, when you click it, it'll actually pull up the folder you're working in. So um, you don't have to go like um, Indiana Jones finding your um, data. You can just easily click the blue uh, link and it'll take you to the folder that you're working in. Um, and it'll have all the files related that you, you need. Um, so I try to keep my folders organized. You can see they're somewhat organized. Um, hopefully, you have a better job than me um, organizing your, your data, but um, hey, we're not all perfect. Okay, so um, you can change the shape of um, some of the windows. Um, so, if you need to make this space a little bit bigger, um, you can do so. Um, you can move these um, additional windows to the side. Um, so, you can see right here there's a little pin. So, if I click the pin, um, it unpins it, so it means that it'll minimize to the left. If I want to pull it back up, I can just click on the resources, and I can put the pin back in it if I want it to stay there. I can do the same thing over here for the tools. Um, I want to make this screen as big as possible. But I'm going to put these back. Uh, same thing down here, but I don't want to do that. Um, down here, you see there's um, also additional options. The quality will come into play later when we're labeling. Um, some of this other stuff you may not ever use, um, but here's the data management so where you can move files around, uh, open files. 
You can also add an additional viewing window, so either side to side or top and bottom. Um, this kind of comes into play when um, you're processing data. If, say, you want a frontal view and a um, sagittal view of whatever it is you're processing, um, or say you want to pull up a graph um, while you're processing the data, um, you can do so. Um, so, um, say I'm going to open up a file. By double clicking it, sometimes it takes a little while. You can see now the name of the file is up here, so there's an open file. Um, so if I click on uh, system, um, because now there is a file, it'll show me all the devices that I used. Um, so say I want to look at the EMG here, it says imported analog um, EMG. So here it'll pull up all of the electrodes. Um, say if I don't want all, look at all the electrodes, um, I'm going to select uh, which ones I do want. Um, so say I only want to look at number 10. Um, I can do that. So you can change the shape and size of the graph. Um, so I can right click, um, drag down, you can see I'm changing the scale. Um, if I left click and right click, I can take it to the frame that I'm looking at. Um, if I click left and right, I, you can see I can uh, move the, the move the graph up and down. So um, say if I have out of frame, I can drag it down if I, if I zoom in all the way. I'm going to close this window. Same thing uh, for this workspace. If I right click, I can zoom in and zoom out. Um, if I left click, I can uh, turn, so whatever direction. If I double click, so left and right, I can pan, so I can move this around. Um, makes it pretty um, useful, so if I need to zoom in, um, I can and move it around. Okay. Um, so for these devices, do not delete any devices, especially out in the workspace. Uh, so the, the computer out that we use to collect the data. If you delete a device um, by right clicking it and removing the device, um, if someone comes behind you and they needed that device and they didn't notice, um, they no longer have that data. Uh, so please don't delete any devices. Um, you can always add devices. If you don't want to use them, you can not export them. Um, but don't delete them because, again, if you don't know how to add them back later, then you're going to be in some big trouble because um, people might need the data. So please don't delete any devices um, or, or change any of the settings for the cameras uh, within the other computer. Uh, because if you do, um, you may impact the quality of the data. Um, so don't touch anything. If you don't know, don't touch it. Just ask somebody, and if they don't know, then um, you can always call Vicon support and they should be able to help you out. Um, just know that there's a three hour time difference or a two hour time difference because their office is in Colorado. So um, hopefully you don't have any issues. And if not, well, best of luck to you. So um, that's kind of like the basics of Nexus. Like I said, I don't want to make the videos too long. Um, so if you need to go back and um, practice some certain things, you're only interested in a certain piece of information, the video is not, say, like three hours long, and then you don't want to do anything. Uh, and also let you skip some things. Okay, so I'll make some more videos to show you some of the other things that you can do.